can use a map for instance if I was to you know select on bitmap here star maps uh, stars 2 okay um, okay right basically what we'll get is um, if I just uh, render that again um, I'll make the settings a bit bigger this time you think to yourself oh look I've got myself a nice star map there that looks very very good and um, it fits well with uh, with the scene However, the problem is it does not animate very well in um, in this in this program. Uh, for instance, if I go to views viewport backgrounds, use environment backgrounds, and apply it and display it in all views, you'll see that it appears in in the camera one. But watch what happens when the ship when sorry when the camera and the ship move out to the right. you see what I mean it does not look very good at all the star map stays perfectly still now effectively what we should be getting when the camera and the ship move is basically what you what you should be getting is the stars moving to the, to the left as the camera pans around but as you can see we have no movement at all and this is very very flat so we don't want this at all uh, so don't use backgrounds expecting them to look very very good because they will not work so click on the viewport backgrounds display backgrounds active only and basically we go back to that rendering environment um, we're not going to use the map and the color we're set to black I don't know why it's set to pink but you know there we go and this is how we create a star field effect right go to rendering video post basically when you open it up this is what you'll let you'll, you'll start with you'll, you'll get this what you want to do is click on this button here which is add a scene as you can see we've got camera one selected down here select your camera one make sure that your scene motion blur is selected uh, make sure that your keyframes are set from zero to a hundred okay that's that done now this is where you get your realistic star field from click this button here and this is the uh, image filter events click on this bit button here scroll down to the bottom and there you have star field make sure that it's set from 0 to 100 as I said go to setup make sure camera 1 selected uh, what I like to do is click number 1 and I like to click number 2.5 um, this setting here is your count of stars now you can change this if you think that your scene is filled, filled with too many stars or not enough you can uh, type these in here because basically this is the amount of stars which are in your scene so basically that's counting 15,000 stars sounds like a lot but you have to remember this is 3d space so they, they're actually covering a whole 360 degrees of the scene but yeah you can change that to suit your own make sure that background setting not foreground because otherwise you'll get stars over the top of your ship okay okay now we click on this button here which is the save file button okay so this is not to 100 files uh, I don't know I'm just gonna call this uh, mill Falcon okay and I'm gonna save it as a movie okay click on save and as you can see I'll set mine to high 29.97 frames per second okay okay now make sure none of these are selected or highlighted as such you click on this button here which is the animate button as you can see it's set to single at zero we don't want this because this will make a single image of the animation what we want to do is click on range so it's zero to a hundred which creates the actual animation Again, you can change the camera angle, size, uh, resolution. Um, I'm just keep mine at 800 by 600, uh, and then all you do is click render, and that, my friends, is the animation. Um, like I say, you have to wait for it to render, and wherever you saved your file to is where your video will end up. Now, when you're watching your video and you're and you're not too happy about uh, the, the motion blur, say, "Oh, why is why does it not have motion blur?" Um, you can change that. So, if I just cancel this, come out of this, what you can do is select your object, right-click it, Object Properties, uh, Motion Blur, it's select by image. Now, to increase the motion blur, one, two, but you can keep it at one. 
And another alternative as well is click on your camera, go up to modify, and down here we see we have depth of field, change that to motion blur. We're going to render effects per pass, and I'm going to change that to around about 8. Now this is what we get now, we get motion blur in our scene. Um, now what you will notice is the ship will gently start to move off then, and then it will move fast. Now if you want the ship to be constantly moving from the first keyframe rather than slowly gradually picking up speed, what you do is you click on your ship, click on this graphs button down here, and basically these graphs uh, show you your animation. Um, so as you can see it, it comes in and that's the peak of it, that's where it gets right to the end and it starts to turn. Now, you can't really see it at the moment and at the starting point you'll see it kind of like a bendy curve. If you don't want it to um, curve, just click on the box and then click this button here and it will turn into a straight line. Actually I'll show you here for instance, if I just click this one here and click line, basically as you can see it moves slightly it turned into a straight line okay and uh, there you go that's really it so um, thank you for watching if uh, you want any new tutorials or any more help um, or if you want to learn how to use many programs um, we cover a lot of programs on the site please log up to the log onto the site uh, videoeffectsuniverse.com check the site we can you can download the tutorials from the site or you can join the forum get get in with the community we're growing quite a lot every single day uh, more members are signing up and uh, that's about it really so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later